been here before, Reed. It's exactly like them. Remember last time we had this convo? I do. And yes, the rules is not that different. Ah, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Back on the same page, are we? Not exactly. Brings back a lot of memories, all this. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the op there? We had our sides trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. I think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about so me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aimed to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his doberman. Spending big money on kids' luxury it was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. What did you do? Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, thwack, I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Interesting. We've parsed the intel from the shards Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we... righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Alex nailed it. If anyone's to blame, it's Smyers, not you. You might be right, but so am I. Right, our objective, to free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op, because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall, a consequence of her service to the NUS and President Myers. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, she doesn't get treatment. that a killer. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. 
We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Plan. Let me hear it. Hanson and me with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close. To Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural Matrix is in there too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Emmerich and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand? Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. Yeah, I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, cause they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hanson. So we kidnap them. How we wanna do this? They're driving a rental wide in NT. An exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it. Before they reach Hanson at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavioral imprints are tuned already. And you're rolling all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil wrap. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen. Right. Where you'll sell them the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hanson and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress-up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hanson set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird? We have to rescue her. Maya's told you as much herself. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Main goal, I want to make sure I'm clear. We're springing Songbird free from Hanson's iron grip. And seizing tech that's gonna save your lives. You and Alex enter the stadium as Hanson's visiting Netrunners. Disguise is our key to the op. First step, what was it again? Securing a trace on the Netrunner's car. This bit's on you. Alex will expand on that in a minute. Meanwhile, we'll make sure the personality data and imprints are airtight. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talk nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute.
You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks. What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. Hmm. And so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will, is that right? It's not wrong. So we serve Hanson up on a silver platter, it'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways, we're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. And any for your thoughts, Alex, about all this? Honestly, still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep, saddle you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those? We find the car easy. There's a station not far. Near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. The stations, how do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. So, breach the station, trace the car. Good. What then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Dunno. Anything goes wrong, I'll be stuck in there. Suck it up. This is FIA trunk ops, soldier. <laughs> Seriously, though, the tech just works. And we'll have your back the whole way. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. border war at three to one. That concludes today's world news segment. Please join us again.
Uh, here's to you, Canalito. There's prices in Dogtown. Certified resale. Cause of that B, heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relics firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry, completely painless. Relic upgraded? How'd you manage it? No easy feat, I guess. Tweaking tech that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. First good news, you said. So there a second thing? Right. It's... super important. It stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay, need to Delta. But see you soon.
Watch out. Thanks, I deserve that. 